We are holding a few hours from the special house of Shavuot, receiving of Torah. We've been looking forward to it. It took a while, 49 days, counting for Omer. Every single day we try to raise ourselves to a different higher level. The question is, what is Shavuot? Shavuot is about receiving Torah. I t- uh, so what's Simcha Torah then? Simcha Torah is in September, most of the time. It's also receiving of Torah. How many times we receive the Torah? Was it receiving of Torah was on Shavuot or was on Simcha Torah? So Chachamim explained to us, receiving of the Torah originally was on Shavuot. When we came out of Mitzrayim from Egypt, Hashem offered us, so we are doubting if it's good for us, not good for us, but Hashem knows the best, what's good for us, what's not good for us. So Midrash explains that we were forced to take the Torah. Hashem raised the mountain and held above us. If you're not going to take it, it's going to crash you. So we had no choice, we took the Torah. Because we did not know the beauty of the Torah. But once we got the Torah, even was forceful, forcefully, we started studying it, learning it, practicing it. You know, it's not so bad. It sounds like very interesting. Very spiritual, very emotional, very something pleasant. So came to Simcha Torah. The nation asked Hashem, well, you know what? We were forced to take the Torah. We didn't enjoy it. We didn't celebrate it. Now let's make a celebration. Let's celebrate it. Because now we're willing, ready to, to take it. As there is a mashal to this explanation, there is a mashal. A king had a daughter, one daughter, a princess. So he wanted to make sure that she gets into the right hands. She gets the right chatan. So he found a nice chatan from the farm, nice, poor, simple guy. So this is the boy thought, you know, something wrong with the girl. You know, why would king wants to marry his daughter to me? I'm a simple guy. I'm, I don't come from royal family. I don't come from wealthy family. I'm a simple farmer. So the boy is sitting there through the whole wedding. He had no choice. He could not refuse it. He was scared. If I'm going to refuse king's daughter for marriage, king might kill me. So he's sitting there shaking, worried, nervous the whole wedding. Something wrong with her. Maybe she's limping. Maybe she's crazy. Maybe she has mental issues. Few days later, he realized, you know, everything's fine with her. It took a few months. He realized, like, she's an amazing, amazing, beautiful, good human being. Then he came over to the king. He said, King, when I was married, when I was the first time when you offered me, I thought something wrong. I didn't enjoy it. Let's make a party now because I want to make a new, new cel- wedding celebration. That's exactly Simcha Torah. Who is the king? Hashem. Who is the, who is the princess? Is the Torah. Who is the simple farmer? Is us. So Hashem gave it to us on Shavuot, we didn't appreciate, we were scared, we had no choice. Now it comes to Simcha Torah, we celebrate. So Bezat Hashem, tonight, do not forget to make Eru Tavshilin, and it comes to, to Shavuot, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, we should all be ready to accept the Torah. Everybody should have a great day.